in the fall, you've got all sorts of colors. So some of the species we have here are our big blue stem, Androprogon giardii. So it's a really nice tall grass. This is a, it's a really important component of your meadow. And it grows up six, eight feet tall. So it's a really big grass, holds the soil, and makes uh, a lot of seed for wildlife as well. And then over here, you've got Indian grass, which is the one of the ones that I seeded a minute ago. And you can see these little guys starting to come up. And it's actually a really nice grass. In the fall, you've got all sorts of colors. You've got reds and blues and purples and oranges, reds, yellows. So, I mean, it's a really beautiful grass in the, in the fall. It produces a lot of seed for wildlife. And this is this produces a lot of seed. So the, uh, the sunflowers actually produce seed for like things like goldfinches and that sort of thing. And over here we have common milkweed or butterfly milkweed, sorry. And this will have a beautiful orange flower in the summertime. And the milk, milkweed will attract a lot of butterflies, the monarch butterfly. So just having all these species available to put out there. Here's another one, here's black-eyed Susan. Very easy to grow. Has a nice yellow flower. Looks really beautiful and produces a lot of seed for wildlife. It also attracts a lot of pollinators that's what we're trying to attract pollinators birds and all the animals associated with that Canada, Canada wild rye I really love the feel of this one it's just so soft and it's excellent it grows up about yay tall and then it has a nodding seed head this looks really beautiful what we're trying to do is get you to grow some I mean even a plant on someone's balcony can make a contribution to biodiversity